Oh, hell yeah. All right, so we got a new office going. You know what I mean? Ooh, what we got going? Ooh, we got just an ice pack on our knee just for the rest of my life. I swear to God. But uh, anyway, we got an MRI that says we got a torn meniscus. And uh, I, I, told, I, got, I got five screws and a plate holding this knee. Ten years ago, we hit a tree skiing. Thank God I didn't hit any other appendage. I broke the fun meter. So uh, I guess you, you get to do that. You know what I mean? You get lucky a couple times in your life. But anyway... So uh, what are we doing? Well, well man, I I'm glad I I'm glad I can probably do some getting paid work from this desk. You know what I mean? But uh, man, half my life was just like working, working outside and stuff. So uh, we're we're still gonna try to do that. You know, you're a minute in and you're not telling us anything. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to. Uh, well, this is a cool one. This is definitely a cool. We need some keys. And, uh, I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Alright, we got the keys to the John Deere. We definitely need a respirator. Holy hell, that thing's diesel. It just, uh, spits out fumes. So anyway, let's do this. So, uh, simple, simple does it. We were using this John Deere. Hopefully you can see it out there. Uh, we were using it this winter to plow snow. And it's a great tool. But now that it's summertime, we're gonna we're gonna make it work just a little bit harder. You know, what I mean, get get a couple more years out of this puppy. But anyway, we got a rubber blade going right here, so we're just gonna take that off. And you know, here's the metal blade that was on it, and that's good enough, man. That thing's like high grade steel. It really is. I think this stuff you can't even drill through it. Uh, but anyway, so uh, but anyway, we need to get this thing sky high literally that's all that's all we're doing so we're just gonna pop in the key and uh i guess we'll run it for a minute i don't know i don't know we'll we'll see but uh, anyway we're gonna turn it on and then just raise that blade up so we can just access it so we can take that take i think you get it all right here we go All right, and that's it. I don't want to breathe any of that diesel. Hell no. Uh, hell no. So anyway, uh, we're just going to let that detoxify. And uh, we're going to go out there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off that uh, rubber blade. And basically just take out the rubber part. So we got to undo all those. I bet you that hardware is just crapola. This is the second season we've done it. So we might have to go get new hardware from Ace Hardware. But if we do, we do. And I don't. I just have to walk from here to there. So this ain't too bad on my knee and we can do it and then once we get this thing running we're gonna plow some dirt baby at the cabin it's gonna be a mate you think that thing can plow dirt hell no but i can make it plow dirt uh it takes it definitely yeah holy toledo it don't want to but uh it's just an inanimate object you know what i mean maybe it's not though i don't think so yeah so we'll, we'll treat it nice see what it wants to do this summer but anyway that's what we're gonna do and catch you on the flip side all right, so we got a pad to sit on, and uh, what, what, what we need? Well, I don't know. I think we maybe need a half inch, maybe nine sixteenths. Uh, I don't think it's seven sixteenths. We're just gonna grab a couple half inches and uh, a couple nine sixteenths. Perfect. Well, let's do something. Let's do something.
All right, we're probably gonna have to move this trailer just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Probably didn't have to move it that much, but uh, I don't know, we're just gonna get in here. Can you see anything? So that that's half inch. Okay, hell yeah, so half inch it is. And uh, we'll, we'll see if this is the, the ticket. Okay, perfect, we're doing it. So yeah, these, these are coming off and I can probably still reuse them. And uh, man, I, I just wanna kinda put them right there. No reason to go any farther. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, I don't know if I had a little, if I had a little drill gun, maybe that would go a little faster. But I think we're just fine. We'll just do this by hand. Yeah, there's only like a. Well, let's count them up. I think I count ten. One, two, three, four, five, and then it repeats. Yes, yeah, as easy does it. Oop. I mean, you might as well get where you can see. Heck yeah. We're doing it. And yeah, man, I was getting vertigo last year. You know what I mean? Just, uh, well, I shouldn't be talking about it right now, but you know, anything on my back looking straight up, just, oh, Jesus. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Man, this thing might just fall off after. No, no, I guess it's attached on the other side. So that's good. Okay, we'll just grab both these though. Might as well just grab that one too. All right. All right, we're doing it. Okay, perfect. Oop, that just kind of got everywhere. But yeah, these camp pads, you cannot beat them for, uh, for working. Oof, I don't know what direction to go. Guess we're gonna go this way. All right, cool beans. So we got them off, and, and if we do this right, we'll, we'll just be able to, you know, pull these off and then just put them right back on. So, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll just take the whole thing off. And uh, I don't know. You think we can pry them out? That one's a little tight. Man, they're 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 in there. Well, I, I don't think we can. So uh, let's just sit down and uh, let's see if we can get it going this way.
man. I think I need to get a hammer in there or just a crowbar and we're gonna flick those up. Used to have a crowbar in there, but uh, I know where it is, and it's nowhere near, so we're just gonna use a hammer. I, I think we're gonna be good to go. But yeah, that, that rubber was making all that pretty tight. And I guess what we don't wanna do is, uh, we don't wanna flip all these around. So this is, this is the grinding blade of, of the, so anyway. I think I get it. So perfect. That 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 definitely works. I'll do that every time. And uh, okay, so we're just gonna get that on there. And uh, okay, just get them in the holes. Uh, yep, and then just turn them. All right. So we just got one more side to do, and then we're basically done. This is definitely a worthwhile project. And uh, my back's cooperating just enough. But yeah, I do really good sitting. If I just sit like this, you know, uh, I, do, I do really good. Do really good, you know what I mean? End of story. So, okay, we're going to put this in a safe spot all right we're back at it okay so we're, we're gonna put this in a you know what i mean in a spot get get that get that ready for next winter uh when we need it but more summertime so oof this is the hardest part finding a finding a position that don't hurt my back okay i think we're good i think we're just good just like right on our side just like this i think we can all see Man, that sun though. Okay, so we're just gonna get a little washer, a little lock washer. And uh, a nut. Ooh, I bet you can't see nothing with that sun. And I got my fingers in the way. But uh, let's just, there we go. Let's do it. Okay, there's one. Okay, I think I got the system. Just uh, just do it all at once. There you go. And then uh, shake and bake. Ooh, that, that barely caught, so we'll keep an eye on that one. But now that the rubber's gone, these, these are real long in here, but that's fine. I don't think they're gonna get chewed up. I don't, and uh, I used them last last summer, so they, they were just fine. Or maybe I don't know. Are they gonna get chewed? Man, they're probably gonna get chewed up. Let's see. We just need some shorties. So I, I would say, yeah, you you want to cut that down by like a whole half inch. At least half inch. But once that's on there, yeah, yeah. Huh. And I'll just go for it. I mean, if they get chewed up, we'll just buy the new ones next year. And, or, uh, um, yeah, it ain't no thing. All right, we got the good angle though. Holy Toledo. Ooh, 
Ooh. Oh, I guess we're gonna go to the other side. Take a little breather. Okay. Perfect, hit the rubber. Man, there you go, then you see one. Catching threads. Well, I guess we missed one, because we got some more hardware right there. Which one did we miss? That makes no sense at all. Oh, did that one way over there? Damn it. That's all right. Okay. Oh, and we need this anyway. Whoops. Go easy, go easy. Oh, I guess we never got this one. Interesting. Ooh, that's Sando. There you go. Okay, so now we're just going to tighten it on there. Am I going the right way? Nope. All right, this is this is nuts though. Let's uh, let's just get the tool because I, I don't I don't want to spend this thing all day. You know what I mean? So it is that junction where you can. Uh, oh no, no, there's no tools over here. Now we're just gonna have to do it the hard way. There's no yet. Yeah, all the tools are at the other house. Okay, I guess we're gonna do it this way. It's just sometimes good to take your time. I'm gonna get these up here. All right, perfect. And uh, yeah, yeah, we got 20 minutes. 20 minutes on the, the USB or whatever it is. All right, tighten that pup up. Well, 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 well. I, I would get this one over here just to make sure they all they all match. Holy, Toledo, let's loosen this one up. Yeah, now get this one tight. And then get this one tight. Well, I can just do them with my hands, so, uh, you know what I mean? Hopefully, they don't loosen up. Whoops, just making more work for myself. There we go. So I think we did it. Does that look lined up? We can, we can get this one final answer. Heck yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. That's plenty, that's plenty good. And we'll get all these other ones. Call it good. But yeah, these are just gonna get destroyed when we tried to, you know what I mean? Just on every rock. So we gotta cover them with nuts and uh, that'll be good. And I need more nuts in this size anyway. So even if we need to get a box, it's well worth it. Okay, there you go. Perfect, nice and tight. All right, 
right, let's go to the other side. Okay, we're gonna do this one right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heck yes. Alright, well, I guess we're just left handed or something. Man, okay. It's always good to practice your ambidextrous skills. Got it. Oof. This is really te this one is testing my patience. It's like All right, we got it in the end though. That's good. All right, can I even reach this one? All right, it's basically last one. And then we'll give them all a nice little tightening. But we do need to cut, we almost need to put two nuts on there. That's crazy. So we'll see what we do there. Okay, that one's tight. That one's tight. That one's tight. Okay, perfect. We did it. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna bring this stuff in. Just one tool at a time. Whew. I think I have another rubber piece down there. It, it don't matter, I'm just gonna throw that right down there. Perfect. Hammer goes back where we found it. All right, now what were we talking about? We're gonna see if we have any more nuts. So uh, I think those are like 3 8 3 8 nuts. Man, we got a lot, we got a lot. So uh, I don't know, I would do like a, and let's get some 3 8 washers. We're just going to take both these out. I'm, I'm sure we'll final answer on all these. So uh, I think we're just good to go. Because <laughs> they're they're either... These are 3 eighths plus or minus. So I think we need 5 sixteenths. Uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's definitely not quarter inch. Okay, there you go. And, uh, like, shoot, yeah, do these nuts just go right on? No, 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 these, these are too big. So, yeah, these are, like, we need to, and these are probably too small. I mean, those are too big. So, yeah, we had this dilemma last time. So, I think we just need to, uh, go get another pack and so we're gonna we're gonna take this off and then go get another pack of, of nuts and then just be good to go
We're going to cover these just in case it rains, and I'm going to catch you on the flip side. All right, we're back at it, and uh, let's get this thing on top of my head. All right, so we got some new bolts, but none of this is ideal. That is for sure. So anyway, what I like to do is just open up a pack, and uh, we're just going to put them right there. Hell yeah, you know what I mean? That's so worth it. Um, and then we just got these for ages. So anyway, so so this is going to go on, and then you're just still going to have threads sticking out, but we're going to be fine. At, at the end of the year, we will just... Uh, um, we're not going to throw an extra washer in there. Uh, it's it's going to get so chewed up anyway that we'll probably just have to... You know, that, that that's fine. That, that ain't going to get too much chewed up. But if it does, we'll come in with our grinder and just grind that off. Um, I don't. I don't want to do that, but we, we definitely will. All right, but we, we just got to be one and done with this thing. All right, working on our dexterity, getting a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, sometimes some of these projects are just a skill to work on other skills, like dexterity, uh, multi-dexterous. This is left hand. All right. Whoa, and before I get too ahead of myself, we have this bolt that we got to put in right there. All right, so yeah, almost forgot about that one. Man, that's all chewed up. Yes, yeah, so the, the threads on this are just... Oh, there we go. Yeah, you know, it's going. It's going. Perfect. Whoa, it's going way too easy. That's all right, though. I'm glad about those other nuts, though, because that'll back it up. Plus, we've got a lock washer on here. These things ain't coming off anyway. But there you go. Oh, and then these were last year. I had to cut these off anyway, so that's interesting. See, those are brand new bolts. And they're going to be sticking out way too much. That's the thing. Are we already just screwing ourselves over? Hell yeah. Because uh, this is the cutting blade. And these are just sticking out way too much. We just, we just got to cut these off. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm just going to final answer this puppet. I didn't think I had to cut. You know, I, I don't want to breathe this stuff, though. That's for sure. Um, but we have to cut all these off. So, we have to get the angle grinder. And, uh, yeah, we got to cut these puppies off. Yeah, if, so, uh, yeah, and I guess we got the nuts, so just in case we have another project, we got them, so. But anyway, I'm glad I thought this, thought this through. Okay, so now we're just ready for the next step. We, we got to come in with our angle grinder and just saw all those off. Shoot, there's one more. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, uh... Alright, this might be a video within a video. Because, uh... I, I want to put a, a GoPro on, on one of those... Hell yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. So, what, what are we thinking? Um, okay, so we got this GoPro. And we got a mount for it. So, we're literally just going to put it on... Oh, perfect. Are all those SETI spaghetti? Uh, this can get replaced. Come in here, just make sure those are all charged up. But these are all done. Okay, gonna get a battery. Perfect. And we have an SD card. Heck yes. 
just make sure we got enough juice on the SD card. Yep. Oh, heck yes. All right, turn that off. Gonna get this cage. And, and what are we getting at? Well, I, I think I think we got some sticky uh, GoPro mounts. And if we don't, if we don't have any, I know we just got some. So yeah, let, let's go with what we, uh, what we just got. Whew. I don't know where they are, but. All right, I'm going to catch on the flip side. All right, hell yeah, I don't know if you can hear a darn thing, but we're, we're gonna put on this respirator, get the John Deere over there, use that fresh air respirator, because it's galvanized. We don't wanna breathe that galvanized as we go. Here we go.
All right, I don't know if you're hearing it then or not. The volume's good on this GoPro, but hell yeah. So we're just gonna let that fumigate out there. Well, once the fumes start dying down, we'll get the trailer all set up. Whoa. Okay, and uh, we'll uh, get it on the trailer. All right, catch you on the flip side. All right, maybe this isn't the thing to do, but uh, we're gonna use my van. Uh, it's got a hitch, it's just real low. You know what I mean? We don't want to do anything that we shouldn't be doing, but I don't know. I swear I've done this before and it didn't hit anything. You know what I mean? It's nice and low. Um, I usually have a big old ramp for it, but we don't need that. You know what I mean? Uh, just easy does it. So we're just going to use this thing. And, uh, whoa. Cool. So this will definitely be our ramp. And we'll get it situated just like that. And, uh, I, I don't think we put these up because I, th I think the, I don't know, you know, we'll be able to get it strapped. Okay, let, let's just do it. I definitely have a plan of attack, so uh, we'll just go for it. Okay, I got that one. Need another two. All right, simple does it. But when we go to strap it on, um, you know, I, I should probably get my straps going first. But I guess who cares? Well, let's just get this friggin' thing on here and, and see what we need for straps. Okay, that looks good. I'm about, I'm about running out of steps. My, my knee hurts. And uh, we, don't, we only have a few more steps left in the day. Whoa, did we leave the key in here? Sometimes that runs down the battery. We'll see.
All right, so the back's all, all together. And then we're gonna get this in here. Uh, we're gonna strap this a little bit better. Oh, there you go, get it this way. Booyah. Just get it through there. Heck yeah. All right, so th that's on there. Um, yeah, how should we do this? Oh, I see. We'll just, we'll just go around there. And, uh, we'll just go around this thing. Perfect. Got enough to catch? Just barely. Okay. Got that side. I think we should do one more just, just to be safe. Just catching it. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got our ramp, and hopefully that ramp don't bust. You know what I mean? That'd be the only thing is uh, it'll just bust. But anyway, I think you get it. And uh, we're we're gonna take all these straps just in case. Um, but it's just going out there for the summer. So now I'm gotta be thinking because we need uh, we need at least a tarp, and we're gonna grab a good tarp and maybe some better straps. Yep, and I, I can't walk very much anymore, that's for sure. Okay, you were definitely going to use some of these thick straps, so we're going to take those. We were using them for the boat, but, uh, and then this is our tarp. This is our tarp for the summer. And, man, heck yeah, we could use some bungee cords. Look, there's a whole whole thing of bungee cords. We'll just grab a bunch of them. Don't grab anything more. Just bungee cords. Nothing more. Okay, perfect. I think that, that was pretty good for bungee cords. Get that out of there. Hell yeah. Put things back where they belong. Man. Perfect. Ugh. What else? Well, straps. Yeah, you definitely needed a hell of a ton of straps, but I don't see any other straps. So yeah, we're gonna have to dig into some good ones. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. Oh yeah, there you go. There's some there's some good straps. Hell yeah. Just gonna put those there for now. Get these in. If we can just go one and done, we will. But I don't I don't think yeah, I think we can barely do it with this one. We're gonna find out. Oh heck yes. Okay. And I think this one will probably do pretty well over here. Coop, 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 coop. 
and we're done with that for sure uh yeah it's only if we want to just double up you know what i mean just pull it to where you want it set it and forget it all right we're doing it doubling it up all right we just need one more six and we are we're just so golden there you go whoa is that a nine no six okay perfect and we could use some ear protection and the diesel because we'll, we'll, we'll gas up with diesel Okay, hell yeah. All right, that's strap Olad. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do it. That really makes sense to put another strap. Well, you can't use this one, but you can use like a 12 or a 20. Yeah, you got 20s. How about that's a 12? There you go. Okay, perfect. See, so, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Because I just don't want this machine to go back and forth, so all, all we have to do is just come in here. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Through here. There you go. So now we're just gonna put some tension in this direction. Who is a dangerous one? You got the wheel well right there. So we're gonna come all the way up through here. Man, I feel like that daisy chain's not good, but uh, okay, good enough. All right, diesel and ear protection. And we're good to go. We're good to go. All right. Let's get that ear protection. Nice. And our diesel. Where is that? Is it in the shed? I think so. All right, we gotta get out of the shed. And we got perfect plowing weather for about two days. We got some rain to saturate the ground. Oh man, my leg cannot handle this. Whoa, okay. Oh, it's super light. There's hardly anything in there. Perfect, so we'll fill it up about four or five gallons and then probably fill it up again on the way out. So I don't know, maybe just four gallons so it's easy. And we ain't driving this thing until it's almost dark. Well, I guess it don't matter. Look at that tire, it's pretty damn low. That's the only thing I don't want to happen is just the wheels to blow up. Well, I'm glad I mentioned that because we better get the jacks. We better make sure we got all sorts of jack and equipment. But it's not the jack we're concerned with. We, we need to we need an extra tire. Holy Toledo. That's the thing we most need, is an extra wheel. All right, that one's bald as, and that one's flat. Uh, at least this one's got a little pressure in it. And we're gonna go old school. We are definitely, I don't know, I kinda wanna get some arm workout in. So, uh, <clears throat> man, gotta clear my throat. 
Yeah, this pump has seen better days. You know, I mean, this is like the Walmart. You get it at Bell, Bell Pumps. Uh, it just needs some grease, that's for sure. Well, could I grease it up? How much juice do we got left? Well, yeah, this pump's super awful. So maybe we make a viral video. We'll pump up one side to 60 PSI. It barely works. But if we can get this top off, yeah, we can get some grease in there. Man, I gotta sit down. I gotta do everything possible not to hurt my back. Oh, we're just losing PSI, damn it. Yeah, and that's just leaking. Wait, what up? Okay, no, that's the right one. Okay, here we go. Hey, we were pretty good anyway. It just looked flat. Well, we were already at 60. That's why this tool is so good. You know, a little bike pump? You can check your air. You, you can at least check the pressure in your tire. This is better than any, uh... I mean, because let's say that your pressure is low. Well, just two pumps and you're just up to snuff. All right, so we got plenty of juice in that. And uh, it just looks low. Oh, no, duh. It's got, like, too much weight on it. Yeah, see, it's so flat. That's why I'm going at night, because... You know, else the tires are just going to heat up too much. You definitely don't want to go in the heat of the day. So hopefully I can drive about 35. Um, but I, I haven't been staying up till like 3 a.m. no more. So we're going to have to go like at 9 p.m. 8.30. So yeah, this will be some, be some traffic out there just a little bit. Okay, yeah, this was good. Yeah, it's definitely up to pressure. It's just flat. It's just too much weight. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, because the axle I strengthened, but yeah, it's just too much weight on those. So yeah, they do blow up uh, every once in a while. So, uh, yep. <sighs> All right, well, we're gonna take this pump, that's for sure. All right, it might be dark when we get out there, so we'll bring a headlamp. Well, I'll make sure to get that in. But yeah, this thing's going out to the cabin. And catch you on the flip side. All right, hell yeah, we got the John Deere. And uh, we got a new battery. So we'll, let's see if it actually works. Uh, you know what I mean? I didn't bring my camera because we did some plowing on the driveway. But since we mowed up there, maybe that would be the first place, you know what I mean, to do a little plowing and, and seeing seeing what we're up against all right we're gonna take this tarp all the way off so uh, we can just free all the corners hell yeah that corners uh, free and uh hell yeah okay okay take your time uh we don't want wetness everywhere especially on the seat you kidding me you're what are you just gonna you're just gonna do all this wetness right across the seat Ooh, i i can't take a wet seat right now uh, so yeah, perfect. Get get that over there. Dry seat. But we literally can just pull this off now. I think. Well, don't, it might get caught on that blade. All right, sweet deals. We even got a little diesel. A little diesel, diesel. Um, put this in the shade. Cool. Diesel's not explosive though, so that's good. And I don't know. We're, we're just gonna do a little check. Ooh, we should definitely get this strap out of here. This is something where you just totally forget and then just run it over. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of gas. And we even get the taxable diesel. Uh, that's this too expensive no more. You gotta get the dad diesel. This thing is, you know, don't go on the roadways. Okay, so battery right there. We uh, we got a new one, and it's a little more cranking amps. But it's not the starting that's the issue. It was the actual running. So I don't think this is actually going to do anything for our problem. Uh, but you never know. You just never know. All right, so, uh, okay, red on that side. 
Yeah, we're just gonna drop it in. Wash the old fingers. Okay, perfect. And uh, just just do a little double check to see if it even fits in there. This one's a little taller. Okay, perfect. So we got that action. We got this action coming off. Uh, well, I guess we just put that on there till till we're all situated. Yeah, damn it. And I, I don't I don't know where they where the hell they. Uh, I guess it's just under there somewhere. Well, what do you think? Is that what they were doing? Yeah, I guess they were just going Just going under that thing. So we're gonna yeah, hell yeah Pull up real good on that pull over real good on that and now we should just be able to Yeah, just a little tension. You know I me mean? make sure that battery don't go nowhere nowhere Whoo Man yeah, I just I just don't even think this is the issue, but uh, We'll get our little tool. I think we need two tools And little wrenches, you know, what I mean if eh, I need like you always should have two of these in your car. Holy Toledo and buy them at the You know, I, I need to just keep telling myself. Yeah buy more of these You can't have enough of these in cars and, and stuff. This can take a place of a whole tool set This and a screwdriver All right, should we get the should we get this going first? Yeah, I think so. Okay, small part alert, man. We've been we've been striking out all week uh, with dropping crap, you know, just little small parts. So, and we need to f feel out like, what, what do they want it this way? Do they want it that way? Do they want it this way? Um, do they want it that way? But yeah, small part alert. We've been dropping them all week. And I don't have any more of those small parts. Okay, perfect. All right, hell yeah, and we might just be good to go. We're just gonna righty-tighty this. Nope, 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 we, we, we have to get just a little juice in here. You know what I mean? There you go. And uh, we, we can tighten this up just a touch. Okay, hell yeah, just get, yeah, real solid connection. Oh, and that's the other thing. We need to dangle these, you know, uh, as uh, two little things off the back because uh, every time I leave, every if I use this, I should uh, just come here and then just disconnect the battery. And I think all you have to do, well, do you just have to disconnect the red? Yeah, I'm sure you have to just connect the red. But, I don't know, maybe just disconnect both. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're, uh, okay, now we're, uh, this battery's live. So, uh... I forget what the deal with batteries is. You just don't, you don't want to just touch metal, metal there, metal there. That would be crazy. Okay, a small part alert. I'm gonna get this in there. Um, well, what do you think? I'm satisfied. I don't know. I think it maybe should come this way. There you go. Oof, that looks a little better. Catch it. Catch it. Couple threads. All right, we can't go wrong now. Uh, now, but Crescent Wrench, this, this is why they're coated in... Uh, and stuff because yeah you won't want to go over there with something metal okay hell yeah and crank this down don't have to go too tight because we're going to be uncranking it in just a second whew holy shit you know what I mean uh, we were paying attention but yeah you always got to double check so th this was minus this was positive positive red negative black <laughs> all right <laughs> We're spaghetti, and, uh, well, we're not going to keep that, I don't think. We got spots for stuff like this. This is, this is like total trash, but it's unique. So we have a, a exact spot for just stuff like this trash that's unique. Okay, what the hell? Let's do this. And are, are we going to get music back again? Yeah, if we're going to drive around, hell yeah. So we're, we're going to, we have just a little bit more music. So we'll turn on our tunes. Get him in. We're, we're gonna get sunburned though. Hopefully this hair is uh, protecting my forehead and the GoPro and stuff like that. Yeah, I think, oh, oh, you can't see crap. Okay, there we go. I apologize this whole time if you couldn't see anything. Okay, get these in. Uh, hell yeah. And respirator is always good to have. Oh, and thank God we brought the keys. The keys aren't out here, so you can't take it. Whew. Okay, let's uh, pause on the music. 
but we'll, we'll, we'll fire it up and let it warm up and i think i think we're good to go we're just ready to plow hell yeah and uh, this thing fell off uh but yeah it says push in to start okay perfect and uh you want to in you want to in park start it you want everything in neutral all right here we go hell yeah oh and that sounded so sugar you know what i mean that that was the other battery was kind of crappy all right well we'll see we'll see if this works and uh we'll first go up to uh we'll go up and finish the driveway but then we'll come down here and check it out
All right, man. It is about a month later since uh, I uh, started this video to get that out here. And uh, yeah, it just seems like it's powering down. Uh, so like a fuel pump? I don't know, you know what I mean? But uh, like when it was going downhill, it was like, ooh, it didn't really like that at all. So anyway, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll just have to get it back in town and just play around with it. Um, yeah, maybe go to the internet first. I, I don't know. Yeah, so we did the whole battery thing. Yeah, luckily it just starts right up, so that's good. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's fire it up one more time. I'm just gonna fire it up and kill it. Uh, so get, get this in here. But yeah, that, that, that new battery works really good. All right, so I just don't, yes, yeah, maybe just seems like it's not getting, I mean, th this thing, I, I need to learn about engines, you know what I mean? Start just, I mean, just like a bike, like when I tune up a bike, you just go to every little component and, and then until you've hit every component. Yes, you know, you know how the components work, but uh, might as well just go through. I mean, like we've gotten an oil change, but good Lord, I don't even know if there's any coolant in there. You know what I mean? Uh, so hopefully, you know, that, that's the nice thing about uh, uh, taking your vehicle in you know what i mean to a shop because they're just like yeah i know you just need an oil change but we're, we're yeah you do all the checks but I, I don't know you know what i mean this thing's so unique that maybe they just yeah it'd be interesting to go through and be like whoa does it have an oil leak does it still have oil is it have oil pressure um but uh but yeah i thought it was the transmission thing because when you wouldn't when you kind of use the gears you know what i mean the you know i'm sounding dumb but anyway you just put it in gear get it going forward and reverse that's what i thought it was starting to bog down but now it's like over here is just like you go down a hill and it's starting to bog down so that's interesting all right but that's a complete video from putting putting the the blade on to getting it out here i didn't get the footage that night but you kind of saw what we did i i basically just ran through exactly what i did that night and yeah that it, it was really piled up rocks there so we really got that smooth now you can just kind of drive over it if 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 need be kind of really making that a, a safer drop but actually getting it flat um let's go back here because that driveway is slanted like this we had a big old semi come in and you know get an excavator in here and it's still just hella slanted you know what i mean so we just definitely need more fill exactly where i put it and uh so we'll just keep filling that side especially in the winter time when i plow hell yeah you're just like slanting off into that especially up top man you'll you'll just you, you'll just slide into that little gully so uh yeah so yeah uh, and I didn't want to mess with the top because definitely we want that even higher You know, you want to be able to drive up there and be flat like look both ways even though it's a hell of an angle and then uh, And then be able to drive out luckily you can see down and around that corner just a little bit So it's not too too terrible of a driveway All right, we did it John Deere you can plow and it really does good in reverse You know, what I mean the second you're going forward. It'll just start to dig in but using a tool like this yeah especially dragging it just drag it in reverse but i did that like all last summer and i was just like well maybe the transmission don't like to go in reverse all the time and uh holy so they don't want to plow dirt like that so we really put put the pedal on the metal less you know we, we got it at a garage sale which is pretty sweet you know what i mean so a uh, pretty good deal on it and uh it's a great tool i use it for the winter time so it's just like, do I want to really mess with it? Well, I need to mess around with it in the summertime to get it going tip top because you never want to work on stuff like that in the wintertime. All right, but yeah, I definitely, you know, definitely through here, uh, I want to smooth all this, and uh, but we do need to mow it anyway. So uh, let's get the hell out of here. We had a good day. We at least mowed that too today, so that was pretty sweet. All right, that's a video.